Hello everyone. Welcome once again to our channel. Today's discussion will revolve around the perception of narcissists and their belief that you're a fool. And this is the crux of the matter when interacting with a narcissist, regardless of whether they're an overt, covert, grandiose, or malignant narcissist. Each strain of narcissist behaves in its unique way, with some even displaying overlapping traits. But the crucial point to understand here is this, narcissists, by nature, will gaslight you, distort the reality, and sidestep any serious conversations or transparency. Why do they resort to such behavior? Simply because they evade accountability. They are unable to cope with the feelings of shame, and hence they manipulate situations to escape responsibility and get their way. So, what exactly are they doing? In essence, they are trying to fool you because they think you are a fool. A narcissist will test your gullibility and tolerance levels right from the start. If you are someone with weak boundaries, or if you're an empathetic person with a big heart, a narcissist will exploit that. They will push your limits more and more. For instance, if they don't contact you all night and then start gaslighting, making excuses, or questioning your actions the next day, they are attempting to flip the situation and paint you as the villain for not trusting them, even when they are the ones breaching your boundaries. It's crucial to be firm when dealing with narcissists, because they will manipulate you relentlessly. Bear in mind that there are numerous kinds of narcissists out there. You may encounter them in your dating life, within your marriage, in your family, or even at your workplace. Therefore, you must understand the dynamics of your relationship with the narcissist. However, the common denominator remains that the narcissist is manipulating the truth and you, gaslighting you, and using convoluted language. Why? Because they think you're a fool. And when you start to question or argue, you're inadvertently letting the narcissist win. The more you engage in a dispute with a narcissist, regardless of your emotional state, you're essentially arguing with a fool. They consider you a fool and you're falling into their trap by arguing with them. This is the biggest mistake one could make. When interacting with a narcissist, it is essential to stay focused and well-informed. You have to thoroughly understand the issue at hand and know the facts. Many individuals have expressed their concerns to me, saying, they keep telling me I'm the narcissist or it's my fault. However, it's important to remember that what the narcissist says is irrelevant. What truly matters is how you respond to them. When a person attempts to shift the blame onto you, it's a classic narcissistic tactic. It's one of the biggest signs that you're dealing with a narcissist, they will try to turn the blame onto you and deflect it. The key is not to engage in a defensive argument with them, because doing so only results in you losing your power. Instead, disengage from such individuals, recognizing that you're dealing with a toxic person and that you'll never get the truth out of them. Many people desire closure in a relationship, yearning for the narcissist to confess their wrongdoings, such as infidelity or dishonesty about their intentions. However, a narcissist will never admit their faults, they would rather take it to their grave. In such situations, it's important to realize that their actions and behaviors speak volumes. As I stated in a recent video, no response is indeed a response. This is particularly true with covert narcissists. They often communicate non-verbally, for instance, by giving you the silent treatment. They will emotionally abuse you by ignoring you and making you feel insignificant, cutting off all communication without expressing their grievances. This lack of communication is a non-verbal message, a tactic that many narcissists, especially covert ones, frequently employ. Covert narcissists are also known for talking behind your back and persuading others to turn against you. They are infamous for triangulating, using others to carry out their nefarious deeds, isolating you, and painting you as the villain. The key takeaway here is to recognize these behaviors and tactics, and most importantly, not to let them fool you. A narcissist tends to believe they are smart, but their intelligence is often of a dubious nature. They attempt to perplex others with their gaslighting techniques. They might assert, that didn't happen that way, despite your knowledge of the contrary, or they might claim to not remember the incident as an escape from accountability. Another common tactic they use is suggesting that you need professional help, thereby shifting the blame, gaslighting you once again, and attacking your character and credibility. 
The key here is not to get drawn into their game. Don't engage in an argument with them, because it only benefits them. Giving importance to their words is a lost battle. The moment a narcissist insults your character, discredits you, or challenges your mental state because you're confronting them, is the moment you should disengage. It's crucial to understand that it's not worth lowering yourself to their level and arguing with them. They are deflecting and treating you poorly to avoid accountability, believing they are smart. They expect you to listen to their words without realizing the true situation, their refusal to take responsibility for their actions or validate the truth you're speaking. Narcissists struggle with this because they have a fragile ego. They won't uplift you or support you. You have to accept them as they are toxic. And how should you handle toxicity? The best way is not to deal with it at all and distance yourself from it whenever possible. If you find yourself having to interact with a narcissist, maintain minimal contact. Use the gray rock method, keep your responses succinct, stick to the facts, and avoid showing emotion. The focus of this video is to discuss how narcissists perceive you as a fool. They play numerous games, especially during the dating phase. They might claim their phone battery died or that they didn't receive a message, or they might concoct entirely false narratives. This is the modus operandi of narcissists, creating stories, stonewalling you, and walking away when they don't have an adequate response to your confrontations with the truth. They retreat because they know they're cornered, revealing their true nature, cowards. Narcissists, particularly covert ones, are cowards as they cannot face you and speak the truth. They prefer to act behind your back, which is a true mark of cowardice. Narcissists aim to fool you but it's crucial not to take their bait. Many people, unaware that they're dealing with a narcissist, get entangled in the chaos. They find themselves arguing with this toxic individual who gaslights them, telling them that their thinking is flawed or that they have trust issues. It's worth noting that no one mentions trust issues more than a cheating narcissist. This is their way of sowing doubt in your mind and manipulating you. They also delight in labeling you as crazy prompting you to defend your sanity, however, it's essential not to fall into this trap. You don't need to justify yourself to a narcissist. They are insignificant and undeserving of your time and attention. They are merely playing games with you, wasting your time, and squandering your life. As I mentioned earlier, it's necessary to stay focused when narcissists start their familiar pattern of gaslighting, belittling you, or attempting to tarnish your character in any way. The moment they start labeling you as crazy, accusing you of having mental issues, calling you negative, or invalidating your statements, you need to recognize what's happening. You need to understand that they're trying to discredit you, gaslight you, and play games with you because they think you're a fool. The best way to show the narcissist that you're not a fool is to take a step back and disengage from them. There's no need to confront the narcissist because they're likely to deny your accusations and turn the situation back on you. This will only lead to stress. By defending yourself, you're inadvertently showing weakness. There's no need to justify yourself to this person. I say this from personal experience. I used to engage in endless arguments with narcissists only to realize it was fruitless because they refused to acknowledge my perspective. I've had narcissists tell me directly, I don't care what you have to say, even when I was speaking the truth. That was the moment I knew I needed to discontinue the relationship with such toxic individuals. A toxic person will never empathize with you or see things from your perspective because they're self-centered, they only care about their own viewpoints and what benefits them. When you find yourself dealing with someone devoid of empathy and unwilling to consider your perspective, it's essential to remove yourself from that toxic environment. Don't allow these individuals to treat you like a fool. You need to stay on top of your game, know the facts, maintain self-confidence, and believe in yourself. Narcissists are known to play such deceitful games. They may exit your life temporarily, suggesting a break, only to return after their escapades. Alternatively, they might provoke you to the point where you end the relationship, only to come back with their love-bombing tactics. The point is, they're trying to make a fool out of you. It's crucial to never let anyone fool you twice. Once they reveal their true character, that's who they are. 
Their pattern of behavior has been the same their entire life, and you can't change them. Another key thing to remember, which I learned from dealing with numerous narcissists, is that narcissists don't trust. When you're interacting with a narcissist who lacks trust, they will never genuinely open up to you or allow a deep, soulful connection. Although they might be pleasant enough on the surface, a narcissist will never fully trust you. Their defensive wall, possibly stemming from a troubled childhood or a constant need for control, prevents them from doing so. Their need for control is often a response to feeling powerless earlier in their life, leading them to crave control in their later years. Different types of narcissists exercise control in various ways. An overt narcissist might use intimidation, shouting, and aggression, while a covert narcissist might employ silence, stonewalling, or gossip. Understanding your target and their modus operandi will equip you better to deal with them. However, one thing you should never do is defend yourself to a toxic narcissist. The moment you detect them gaslighting you, it's time to step back and disengage. This is a crucial strategy in dealing with such individuals. There are many terms associated with narcissism, such as gaslighting, triangulation, and breadcrumbing. However, the core of it all is that a narcissist is essentially trying to fool someone to their advantage. They aim to deceive you, to make you lower your guard and trust them. Once they secure your trust, they gain access to the supply they seek. This could range from sex to money, including investments in their business ventures or moving into your home. Essentially, narcissists are con artists. They scheme to gain whatever they want from you. Sometimes, they might even trick you simply to feel superior and feed their ego. Some narcissists might instigate a fight just for the thrill of belittling you, which boosts their self-esteem. Others might argue over trivial matters as an excuse to leave and meet another supply source. It's all a web of deceit and manipulation designed to fool you. Therefore, it's crucial to discern the truth from the lies. Trust your gut instinct. It's a divine signal alerting you when something isn't right, and it's important to heed it. Don't give the benefit of the doubt to someone who doesn't deserve it, as it might lead to regret later. If something doesn't seem right, it likely isn't. Truth is clear, while gaslighting breeds confusion. If you're uncertain about someone's feelings for you, if they oscillate between affection and coldness, it's a clear indication of their dishonesty. They might be warm when they sense you're drifting away and cold when they feel secure, perhaps when they're love-bombing someone else. Remember, don't let anyone fool you. I sincerely hope that this video provides you with valuable insights and empowers you to recognize when someone is trying to fool you. Remember, it's crucial not to grant undue chances to individuals who haven't earned them. As soon as you spot any signs of dishonesty or manipulative games, it's time to disengage. It's essential to understand that if such behaviors are present from the outset, they're unlikely to improve later. When a relationship begins with deceit, manipulation, or games, it's not heading in a positive direction. This should serve as a clear indication that you're dealing with a person of questionable character, which is often the case with narcissists. Narcissists are known for their duplicitous nature. They employ such tactics to exploit others to fulfill their needs or to boost their ego, making them feel superior. Such relationships can be draining and detrimental to your well-being. You don't need this kind of negativity in your life. It's best to step back and disengage from such situations. Remember, your peace of mind and emotional health are paramount. Thank you for tuning into this video. If you found this content insightful, please don't forget to like and comment. Your thoughts and experiences are valuable to us and can help others going through similar situations. Feel free to share this video with others who might benefit from it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to stay updated with more insights like these. Your engagement helps us continue our work and reach more people who might need this guidance. Thank you for your support.